the CMH Nissan Durban, which was formerly known as Dat Center Motors, the company was registered in 1971. So this year we're 48 years of age. Our CEO, uh, Mr. Jeb McIntosh, was the regional dealer principal of Dat Center Durban. The building three years ago, am I correct? Yeah, three years now. December. Was completely um, rebuilt from start to finish. Um, it's probably one of the flagships uh, of the, the Nissan World Design. It's a landmark um, when you're coming into Durban. It starts from how we are in the business and how we as, as the senior management look after everybody else and it filters down and that in turn installs something in our salesmen who then are looking after our customers. We've been looked after by Nissan and yes, it's a two-way street. You know, we do our job and we do it properly. Um, we give you the results, but we have, we have a fantastic relationship with the manufacturer. You take it, uh, like my direct boss, Charles Webber, not yet today. It comes from Charles and then it comes from, from Mr. Mack. I mean, Mr. Mack's attitude towards the group has been like that. And he's allowed us as dealer principals to be entrepreneurs. He's allowed us to put your own uh, sort of touch into it and make it happen. And that, that's, that's absolutely awesome. And it, it stems right from the top. One thing that always stuck in my head was what Stuart said in one of my sales meetings. You can take this dealership and put it in the back end of Springfield Park in a container and we'll still sell cars. And it's only because of people that we put together. And from that day, every time I'm in an interview, I'm not interested in what he says he can do in terms of sales, nothing. You just look for people, because that's what makes our business work. I think you summed it up correctly. There's that word called attitude. I'd rather employ somebody with the greatest attitude that knows nothing, because you can teach them, but you can't teach people attitude. And attitude is what sells motor cars. There's only one place I know where someone will get sent home for bringing the wrong attitude to work. At the end of the day, if we can't get the people together, we can't get a business together. And that's what makes the difference in our business. Mm -hmm. It's the people. Whenever people talk about delivering cars outside your district of, of operation, it's always about a new car that you deliver. We're the only dealership that will deliver the largest number of cars outside our district. This year, uh, a couple of months ago, Stuart hit a new record of 274 cars invoiced on new cars in one I'm month. You're wrong. Stuart didn't hit the record. CMH Nissan Durban hit the record. Team. <laughs> Stuart's team. Uh, a fantastic team, fantastic effort. It's actually a Nissan record for one dealership to, to report. And in the motor industry, if you want to work by yourself, you're asking for disaster. But that's where our success has come from, Rudwan. You take it as a dealership. Um, we, we work together. Yeah. And we, we support each other because I, I've always said this, eh? we spend more time at work mm. than we do at home. Yeah. So we need to have the best possible environment there. It's not you sell the car for the first time, it's the second and the third. It's the time the customer comes into the workshops and has his car serviced in the workshops. How is he treated in the workshops when he comes? And it's a relationship. So it's, it's not just the hit and miss type thing. And I think from our business and what we do is, and through my salesman, understanding that we build relationships and rapport with customer. Repeat and referral is always there. You've looked after that customer, refer you on and off it goes. And our fleet customers, by the way. Our fleet customers love us. They love us <laughs> because we're the only ones that will find their broken down car at six o'clock in the evening when every other dealer says, no, but sorry, we're closed right now. We've had instances where we've opened up a dealership at seven o'clock in the evening in Cape Town to attend to a car. And that's what makes us successful. That's what keeps customers coming back. We've been involved in so many different things. Safety for cyclists, the most recent one. We've got a vehicle, a safety vehicle, that's not supported by anyone except CMH Nissan Durban. Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, Sunday. And we've got a paramedic in there. We've given back to the community in a big way. Oh, we have. Uh, we have. We have. We we've talk. gotten involved in schools initiatives. We've gotten involved in social welfare initiatives. For me, as an employee of CMH Nissan Durban and CMH, it, it gives me you know, a sense of pride to know that I work for somebody that actually cares. You just take how a customer used to buy a motor car, in, in the, and I'm going a couple of years back. Uh, um, used to have a look, see what the car was, see an advert, and then they would come in on a Saturday morning. If you go look today, that's actually slowed down tremendously because the internet is so strong today. 
everything happens through the netter. I mean, a customer comes onto the showroom floor and trust me, he knows more about the motor car than the salesman does because he studied that specific motor car inside and out, found the pros, the cons, the reviews. He'll know more about that specific motor car than what we actually do. And that comes from the world of technology, from, from, uh, from the internet. And it makes the world a very, very small place. Eh? I think from, from a, a dealer network point of view, it's actually add to the competition. It, it's added to the competition. We've got uh, 14 dealers in Natal. But with the click of a button, you're now no longer restricted to the 14 dealers in the tell. You open up to 128 dealers in the country. So the guy that's looking for a car probably gets to 9 o'clock in the evening and he now gets into bed and he's relaxing and now he's shopping for a car from the comfort of his bed. But he wants to talk to someone. And that's where we are different. Because salesmen will answer their WhatsApp messages at 9 in the night and provide information. I'm very proud that we can even send you a finance application at 9 o'clock in the night. We can send it to you. Mm. We can send you a full brochure on the car, simple f a few clicks on our own app that our salesmen have. We can provide you the whole experience for that car and set up an appointment for when you want to view it. And what's made us different is we, we won't wait for you to come in on a Saturday, but we'll come to you. And we'll come to you at your office at lunch break and whatnot. And that's what's helped us to become different. Internet revolutionizing our business, much better. So I've got a word. Compassion. Compassion. Sean? Attitude. Attitude. One word. Mindset. 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 I think the mindset is right. Uh, uh, again, uh, Sean took my word, attitude. So it's mindset and attitude. I think it's all right, but to me, it's passion. We're passionate for our business. We're passionate for our people. We're passionate for our staff. We're passionate for our customers. We're passionate for the brand. We're a passionate dealership. And I think that's what really, to me, makes a difference. Eh?